are you all? We are back for another Human Design and Marketing Live. Claire should be joining me here in a second, and we are going to be launching our joint program next week, actually. So if you all are interested in learning more about human design and marketing, hey, Claire. We're gonna have a great live today. I actually was chatting with a client earlier who is a projector. Here we go. Hey. I was like, oh, you. <laughs> oh, sorry, I muted myself. I was a little bit behind today, but Here. we made it. So. Here. It's all good. It's all good. This is, this is life, you know? We just gotta roll with it when it works. <laughs> Exactly. It's fluidity, which we'll be talking about a lot in the program too, which takes away a lot of the pressure of being in business, oh, I would say. Sure. Sure. I think that's the whole point, right? Like learning how to do it in a way that works for you specifically. That's literally the whole reason that I'm drawn to it because I knew that every program that I had ever joined, I was like, cool, cool, cool. This is working for you, but not so much for me. And that's just making me feel worse about myself. So yes and then like the comparison can come in and i was just chatting with a client actually earlier today claire and i would love to know your opinion on this i'm actually hoping you and i could do like a joint reading for her like a joint uh conversation like how we're doing in our container because she is a projector and one of the things she was talking about um is like that uncomfortability of even like follow-ups because it just feels out of alignment at times but as we know, you know, like follow-ups are pretty important for any business owner. So do you have any tips, I guess, for projectors when they're having like resistance around something that they know they should be doing? And I'm a projector if your client didn't know that. So I can personally speak to that. And I feel that so deeply with just when you can sense that there's resistance around it, this is not going to be advice that any other coach would give you for sure but it's just like maybe don't do it in that moment it doesn't mean you don't do it period because to your point follow-ups are part of what makes sales at the end of the day but I think what always helps me is remembering the why behind what I'm doing um, from the because literally that's what human design is about it's all about our energy and the way we're approaching these business tasks so when I'm doing it because I feel like I have to do it to make the sale from the follow-up perspective specifically, that's going to be received energetically by the other person in that way. And I think that's where projectors feel a lot of resistance around it. Anybody does, but like it's going to be received by somebody in that way from a projector where what helps me is taking that step back and remembering I created this service for this person specifically. I literally put this together for them. They expressed interest to some degree if I'm following up in the first place, you know, and just regrounding yourself in that, that energy, the energy of the why behind what you're doing. Hi. Oh my gosh. I haven't talked to you in so long. How are you? <laughs> Sorry. Derailed. Um, another projector. But anyway, I, I think that for me helps so much because to your point, like we still need to do these tasks in our businesses. That's not what this program is about. Like saying, Hey, you don't have to do certain things in your business. We still have to do them, but it's the way that we're approaching them and the energy behind that, that's going to make everything different. And I think for projectors specifically, like that's a big part of it. Definitely like that comfortability which I feel like you provide every time I do these lives with you <laughs> but also like every time we talk it, it is this hi how are you I'm so glad that you're here with us um and no worries on the distraction you know we go with the flow <laughs> but um yeah it's, it's all about like calming your nervous system too which I think is what you were mentioning about like the groundingness because in any form of marketing, like if we even think about ourselves as consumers, we can tell when somebody's trying to sell us or push a sale like immediately, right? Hey Claire, I was just chatting with this Claire about your um, projector mentality and how we can start to like overcome some of the resistance that may be around it. 
And what Claire was just mentioning as a quick recap is really tapping into your energy before you do the outreach because people will just know and maybe that's not the right time to follow up or maybe you're even hiring somebody else to help you with the follow up that can create some more of this, you know, positive, loving, engaging energy that you're going to provide in the service anyway. So it's also about like trusting that your work, like you said, this person's asking. So if we're not doing the justice of allowing them to join us, like what the heck's the point, exactly. you know? Exactly. And I think that's a great point too, that you just brought up. This person's asking projectors specifically similar to generators and manifesting generators, honestly, kind of different energy behind it, which we'll get into in the group. But like, we're meant to respond as generators and man gens. As projectors, we're meant to wait for an invitation before sharing feedback or insights. So a similar energy behind that from like a sales and marketing perspective, and that's really what it's about. I think on the front end, how you can support yourself better, like before you even get to that point, is making sure that we've set it up in a way where we're gonna have something to respond to or somebody's going to invite us to share our two cents on a topic. And having the conversation start from that point so it never has to be you reaching out or pushing people to talk to you in the first place. Because it is uncomfortable. Like actually next week before I have our episode going out the following week, so this week actually, I'm sharing a lot about direct messaging outreach. But as being a generator, like I'm able to create this environment where it doesn't feel super salesy when we're on the phone. Like I'm just having a conversation with them. But that's also a part of just who I am. Like, I really am not looking to sell them or like get anything out of the conversation. At the end of the day, I'm just looking to connect. And that's taken me some time though, to yeah. harness that, you know. Because on paper, a generator DMing, not the combination that we would put together. But because exactly what you just said, because of the energy that you're approaching it with, it's getting received in a way where people aren't getting turned off because they know that you're not pushing something on them. You're literally just wanting to learn more about this person because that's who you are. Like I genuinely care, but it, again, like at the beginning of my business, I was going at it from the scarcity, like masculine mindset. I had some amazing coaches that taught me their strategy that like you said, wasn't working for me very well at all. And I couldn't understand why, but now I realized like I was actually doing this because I thought that I would make money and I wasn't doing this to actually help people, which is why most of us do what we do anyway. But we've been placed different beliefs on top of us, or honestly, we've just been jaded over the years of being in entrepreneurship, which happens. And I think that that's what our container will continue to help you stay out of as well. Like if you're struggling with staying on track or understanding how you should be working with clients, you know, like this will be able to help you come from that loving energy from the beginning before even getting them into the services. Like I'm hoping that you can, that, oh, that's literally why we created this because obviously with the marketing work that you do, that's the whole goal is like you specifically are working with intuitive entrepreneurs so that they can find a way to do their work, to share their services and to do their business that feels good to them, that isn't gonna burn them out. And I'm doing that in a different way as well, where I'm like, I'm looking at it from the energetic perspective of who are you at that level and how can we really make sure that every part of your personal life, your business life is actually gonna align with that and not go counter to it to create more resistance in your life. And it's like, I've done that in my life and I know you've done that from the marketing perspective in your life. And that's why we're wanting to help other people with that for that reason, first and foremost, always. It's like, I see how much it has changed in my life by living this way. And I want to just help other people to have that because I've also lived the other way to your point, like with the DMing previously, like I have lived totally out of energetic alignment and it, 
felt horrendous. I mean, it literally caused like a quarter life crisis for me. So <laughs> it's one of those things that's like, I can't not share this with people because it's just, it's, it feels like a too good of a secret, you know, like, oh, like you actually can live this way right now. It doesn't have to be this thing that takes five years for you to figure out if you just start making simple shifts. I love what you said about like how quickly it can be implemented because so many of us, especially in entrepreneurship, also in my life, like when I started my healing journey, I'm like, how long is this going to take? You know, like, I feel like I'm repelling people left and right. I'm, I'm upsetting people in my intimate life, you know, like <laughs> cause I'm just a menace living with all of this scarcity. Truthfully, that's was my lifestyle. And I think a lot of us come from that energy because we're in this world of like flashiness and whatever you may want to call it comparison, but it can truthfully be pivoted so quickly with something like human design that doesn't need to take years. And that's what I love about the work that you do, which will be applied in our container too. Yeah, I posted something the other day, like a repost from, I think it was spirit daughter, but it was something to the effect of your life changes at the pace that you believe it will like that exactly and i shared it because that's what i feel like this system has done for me like it it was one of those things that was like when i just shift my perspective to viewing myself and the way that i interact with the world around me on that energetic level i'm now viewing every action that i take so differently and it's like just those changes on a day-to-day -day basis make such a big change on the overarching level too. And like, obviously we're talking umbrella at this point, but what we're going to do specifically is take that information and translate it to your marketing strategy and make sure that what you're doing actually feels good to you. You specifically, not just all generators or not just all projectors also, just so that's clear. Yeah. Like within our package as well, which I think this is important to mention is you'll get one-on-one -on -one sessions with Claire and I. So that's where a lot of that personalization will come in where I could throw a bunch of strategy at you guys, right? <laughs> when it comes to like a marketing perspective, but it's not going to feel aligned. So we'll ask you the right questions inside the container, but then also in these personalized, intimate, you know, one-on-one -on -one sessions where we'll get to the root of what actually feels like it's going to work for you. Like I said, maybe it is outsourcing a lot of this. I think a lot of entrepreneurs, and this is speaking for myself as well, I waited so long to outsource that I actually hindered the growth of my business because of it. And if you can see past some of these dips we may call in our lovely you know, revenue over time, it's well worth it because your payout is extremely larger at the end of the three months that you've outsourced it, or maybe the forever time that you outsource it. That's one of the hardest parts, right? About being an entrepreneur is just like recognizing that sometimes you have to spend, you have to put your resources, whether it's your time or your energy or your money, you have to give that to somebody else to make sure that you are reserving the parts that you actually want to do and the parts that light you up and the parts that re-energize you for yourself. Because when we get bogged down with all of the other things, nothing can kill a business faster than that, truly. Like if it doesn't kill the actual business itself, it kills your passion in the business, which is why you're doing it in the first place. No one's an entrepreneur just for fun, you know? It's because we actually just want to be serving in this way. It's like a next level connection that you described. Um, and when you're not able to fuel your own cup, like how are you even going to show up for your clients? You know, like these are really hard questions I had to ask myself where I'm like, if I'm running around like a kooky, how am I going to have enough energy to pour into these amazing beings that are trusting me with the livelihood and the next intention of their life, whatever it may be, you know, that we decided to work on. So it actually became like a duty, you know, and that's why I think a lot of entrepreneurs do this as well. It's not just about us anymore. It's about our clients impact momentum. I think we all want to be business owners operating in integrity, obviously. And I think too, 
to a lot of us, the work that we do requires presence. It requires that we're showing up authentically. We're showing up as our fullest selves. And that's really hard to do. I think everyone's probably experienced this to some degree. Let's just be real. That's really hard to do when we are spreading ourselves too thin, when we're scattering ourselves in a million different directions and we really only want to be focused in this direction. So I think, I think that piece is huge and we'll definitely help with that. I think that's a big part, honestly, of, of marketing in general, but learning what that looks like for you specifically based on your energy. And I think too, something worth mentioning here is like, this doesn't have to be something that's permanent either. I think, again, it's all about energy and our energy is going to ebb and flow as our businesses are going to ebb and flow and evolve over time. So recognizing, hey, like I don't maybe need a, an online business manager, but having a virtual assistant to take this one task that's been on my plate off, it's been here since last October. Maybe I should just cross it off and stop having it weigh on me because it's impacting every other thing that I'm doing in my business by not doing this thing, but I still don't want to do it. Because those are, that's the procrastination that I feel like we all face at some point. And I do feel like, you know, this is maybe a perfect time for us to kind of round it out to invite anyone that's viewing or viewing this after. Please message Claire and I. Like, even if you have questions, if you're not sure that you want to commit to a two month long container, no problem. Like, we will make something work. We want to help you fuel your passion. You don't have to be in this constant push and pull. You don't have to feel drained all the time. Sometimes it's just really micro changes or tools that we may be able to provide you with something like human design, but something even maybe more specific within your human design that could change everything. So please message us. Do you have anything else, Claire, that you want to share as no, well? I'm with from my nerd. It's next week is the official launch date. So May 16th. Um, so we're going to definitely close it off before that in terms of people that we're bringing in to this group. So for sure, let us know, like just a reminder to everyone here, generator projector, reach out to us, like ask us a question. We would love to respond. We would love to give you any answers that we can to support you. Like Caitlin said, like whether you decide to move forward or not. Perfect. And I will just mention, we do have a few people already ready to join. So there's already a few people in the container. You will be learning from everyone else's design as much as your own, because as we know, when we're service providers, or even with your kids, your family members, you learning human design will also help you in these relationships. Someone's asking how much the investment is. Actually, that's a great question because this week we are launching a promo. So it's originally a thousand dollars. So two payments of 500, but this week, if you sign up with us prior to our launch, we will honor an $800 investment. So two payments of $400 on a 30 day enrollment. Um, and yeah, we'll send you the contract. We'll get you inside the Facebook group and we'll be off to the races on the 16th. So we'd love to have you join us. I will also, if you want, I'll send you the link for the actual, like the fact sheet, if you will, because basically recap real quick for anybody that's still listening or that's watching the replay. It's essentially, you're going to get the, the birth chart reading that I offer my birth chart clients, but I've created it since I did it for you. I've created it in a, like a, a different format that's going to give you a cheat sheet takeaway with it. Um, you're going to get four one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So like Caitlin said, it's going to be with each of us two per month. And then you also get weekly group coaching calls in the private Facebook community to stay connected with everyone as well. And no, it's a two month container, but all the details will be shared in this little, uh, the cheat sheet that we've created on it. Cause it's, I know that's a lot to remember. Yes, and I will also drop the link on this replay in the comments too. So if anybody else who's watching who doesn't get it in their DMs, just go back and check there as well or send us a DM too, like I said. Okay, thank you all so much. See you soon, um, Claire. Bye guys.